Hey, remote learners, we have reached a milestone. Today is Thursday, March 11th. It's a music day, and it is your final day before a beloved spring break. We hope that you have a wonderful time. I hope you stay learning and reading and doing math and getting really creative with projects. It'll just be that you won't be with us on remote learning. You'll be more independent and on your own. So I hope you have a wonderful spring break and enjoy all the fun that you can have. As you know, race week will extend through next week. So hopefully you can enjoy some really fun races and then put those on the Padlet. Here is some examples of some third graders sharing their races. Gotta love when you can race a pet. That is so much fun. And we just love that so much. So really exciting to see some pet races, hopefully on the Padlet as well. So lots of great ideas that are out there. So thank you so much for sharing. Great example. And then we gotta keep going here. We want to remind you that the one book will be starting on Monday, the 22nd after spring break. You're welcome to read ahead. It is such a great book. We're gonna be taking some time each day to talk about the themes and what we'll be learning about. So this is a picture of the author of this book. Her name is Lisa Klein Ronson, sorry, Ranson, and she has written several books. This is the one we've chosen because it's won several honors. And so be ready to have this when we come back from break and we will enjoy a great novel together. So we want to share a few more of the women of Riley County, then we'll send you off into having a great day of learning. All right, here's a few more of our friends from Riley County, some inspirational women. This is Clementine Paddlefoot. She used her love of cooking and writing to be a food writer for New York newspapers and magazines. Her best known foods were those that championed the travel era and she would interview home and professional cooks and really cool to see her. She was a K-State grad, but worked in New York City as a journalist. The next one that we have is Caroline Pine. She was born here in Manhattan and went to MHS. She received her degree and came back to work at K-State where she retired as Assistant Dean of Student Life. And she was an advocate for women's rights and served as a director of the Women's Center. And she was a philanthropist, meaning that she gave money to others to help them out. So kind of cool to see some projects that were named in her honor. Then Alfreda Johnson Peterson was an artist. She was known for her portrait paintings and she studied at K-State and the University of Kansas at KU. She also went to New York and met her husband. Her husband died during World War II in France and she came back to Manhattan to take care of her family. Then we have Lucy Codrell Podorf. Lucy was born here in Riley County and she and all of her seven siblings went to K-State and graduated there. Her and her husband didn't have children of their own, but they were really um, involved with 4-H, a project-based club where we have the hall, Potter Hall at Seco Park named after her. Then our last one for today is Ola Mini Red Rex wrote McDonald. She was born in Ogden, but grew up uh, in South Dakota and was part of the Ogallala Lat Latina, sorry, Lakota Nation, and she was part of the Women's Air Force Service during World War II, and really cool to see her as one of the first Native Americans to serve with this unit before she was transferred to the reserves and became an air traffic controller. And then there's um, an operations building that is named after her. So cool to see all of the great people that are around. Remote learners, I hope you stay brave, creative, and strong throughout all of spring break. Have so much fun, and we'll see you again on Monday, March 22nd. Thanks, everybody.